birds everywhere. It's mating season. They tell you to leave the birds alone while they're mating. I get it. Day two, we're going to try and find an area where we can walk as far out as possible because it's low tide right now. It's supposed to be pretty crazy, like a mile out into the ocean. You're just like in the middle of nothing. So that's first on the agenda. Some loud birds out here this morning too. Had some breakfast at the hotel. It's not as windy as it was yesterday, which I think is going to work in our favor and see what we can get into. Coming through. like four minutes and now we're in completely different terrain. It's like we're in the forest. There's, I don't know, evergreen trees, Christmas trees. <laughs> kind of looks like we're back in California. We are not back in California. We just pulled over, we stopped here. It's like, it literally is like a California forest. Katrina's right as per usual. And uh, I'm still really, I don't feel well. I'm, I had a rough night, but I'm gonna make, I know, poor me but I'm gonna make the best of it. Katrina. He's a trooper. Nate's a trooper. I try. Came all this way to the West Frisian Islands. I'm gonna enjoy myself, damn it. All this way. <laughs> Two hours, watch out. We're blocking the road here. Yeah, we're kind of. We're walking up to the beach. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I think we're the only people in jeans. What happened? We packed wrong. We're scarred because in Amsterdam it says it's gonna be 80, but then the wind is there and it feels like it's 60. It's been a long winter. <laughs> it has. I can't wrap my head around the fact that like, it actually might be getting warmer. It's warmer. It's warmer. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Now I understand why they have all of the shops back in town for people like us that didn't bring shorts and planned poorly. I can't decide if I should go back to town and buy shorts or just some scissors, <laughs> right? How much do you like those jeans? Medium. Very warm out here. This was this is one of the dumber things I've done travel-wise in a while. I'm usually pretty good at this. Because we're not used to <clears> being <throat> in warm weather. <laughs> if you guys have watched our videos, I think our entire channel is about how cold we are, and how it's freezing and windy, and even yesterday. <sighs> yeah. Here. Yeah. So the tide goes way, way out at low tide here and you can see a ton of sand and there's jellyfish and shells, and razor clam shells. It does take a while to walk all the way out to the water. It's a long ways. It is a long ways. And it's actually amazing the difference between the high and low tide here, which we were told that, but kind of like, oh yeah, okay, maybe 10 feet. But it's, no, it's, it's significant. It's a couple hundred meters. Yeah, there's some area here that it turns into like mud or something that you can... They take you on a boat out to like a little somewhere bank. Somewhere else, right? And, and the yeah. water just goes away and you can walk through the mud and it's like a famous thing, but we weren't really up for that today. We saw people like knee deep in mud. We didn't remember sunscreen, but we did remember to put sunscreen on today. That we paid 24 after, euros 24 for. 24 euros for it, Ooh. so you know. Bad tourists, bad, we're just bad at this today. Are those sponges? What are those? Like if we take them home and dry them out and we have like a pumice stone or something. Look at, it's like the seaweed of the Netherlands or something, <laughs> how weird. Why aren't we in a tandem bicycle, Katrina? Cause you didn't want to. I would have done it. I thought that'd be fun. And you were like, no, that looks terrible. That's the right answer. Parents used to have a tandem bicycle when I was younger with like a little kid seat on the back, so I'd be in the back. I gotta talk about e-bikes, electric bicycles. When I first heard about e-bikes, people were like, oh, you love an e-bike. I'm like, no, a bike is self-propelling. I don't need an electric bicycle, that's silly. But I'm a convert, I have to tell you. We've been on a few trips and we've gotten some e-bikes and they just make life so easy so it's more like an easy bike than an electrical bike to me there's thistles there's animals there's cows and horses and birds everywhere it's mating season they tell you to leave the birds alone while they're mating i get it i feel like about a two out of ten but i'm having like a nine out of ten out of ten time 
but I'm having like a nine out of 10 out of 10 time. Right, Katrina? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's nodding. I do tricks on my e-bike. Watch me eat shit. <laughs> I do tricks. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got a biker gang. Oh my god, look at all of them. Look, it's a little pony. Hey, horsey. Hey, buddy. Okay, I know what could make you feel better, possibly. What's that? Ice cream. I like ice cream. Some soft serve ice cream that we've been seeing people have for the last 24 hours that they must be onto something, right? Let's get you some ice cream. My chocolate's good. I don't know if this is gonna make me feel super better, but we're gonna try. I got mine dipped in hazelnut, which I don't even know how you dip it in hazelnut, but here we are. Wow, this takes me back. I worked at Dairy Queen in high school for a summer, and this reminds me very much of that, except I'm on a Vaden Island in the Vaden Sea in the Netherlands. You're having trouble over there. It's melting, like, it's like 80 degrees out here. Do you like your ice cream? Yeah. One to 10 is probably a four and a half. I thought you said you liked it. Yeah. driven our bicycles to the Bunker Museum. Uh, one of the very few, one of maybe two museums on the island here. <laughs> it's a World War II bunker turned into a museum. here at least. <laughs> so this bunker was literally built by the Germans in World War II as like a monitoring outpost where they were capturing radio signals from the Allied forces and then repeating them back to their forces to try and attack the aircraft from the Allied side. There was about 600 Germans on the island. They had their own little village. They had multiple bunkers. This one's now a very, very interesting museum. So I know our little YouTube -y channel here is mostly us just being silly and stupid bloggers and eating a bunch of food, but like <laughs> we do have this cool experience of being Americans getting to live in Europe where World War II like actually happened. I mean, my dad fought in World War II, and it's they still just call it the war here sometimes. It's not World War II. So seeing something like this is, is pretty powerful. Like, the Nazis were here, they took this island over, and they were attacking the Allied forces. Sometimes it's hard to remember that because a lot of these places have just turned into, like, tourist traps. You kind of, like, remove from the whole history that exists here in Europe that as Americans, the history doesn't go back nearly as far as it does here. So yeah. it is a, a cool little bonus that living here, we get to see some of this stuff firsthand. You know, that's a pretty understated, quote, museum, but I've never been anywhere, I don't think, with actual Nazi symbols hanging ever in my life. I haven't, no. no. Definitely not in the States anywhere. No. That alone is kind of, I think, worth worth the trip over just to see something. Yeah. They gave us a cool flyer that showed all the bunkers because the Germans literally built thousands of bunkers all over uh, Europe as outposts and attack posts and stuff. And this is just one of many. So, pretty cool. They built a wall. Yeah, they called it like a, it was like a, a wall of bunkers. Yeah, it was a yeah, great defense, wall of wall defense. defense yeah. yeah, so this was one of them. 
It's nice that there's some clouds now to kind of like cut the blazing sun on us. Uh, I think I got a little sunburn on my arms, but that's okay. So how was your adventure in the Vaden Islands? <laughs> Uh, I had a really good time. I see why people enjoy coming up here, even for a very short, I mean, we were only here like a day and a half. I feel like two days is probably enough to come up here and kind of get the feel of it and relax a little bit, ride some bikes. I had fun. We rode bikes all over this island. I kind of wish we still had our bikes. We had to turn them in early. Sigh, uh, we rode them as much as we could. Schreier Monaco. It's getting better. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough one. We had a really good time. There's birds, there's wildlife, there's beaches, there's food, there's friendly people and ice cream. I mean, we, we had a good time. This I is think, good. Yeah, everybody was very nice. Okay, so you gotta say the name of the island. Schreier Monaco. Schreier Monaco. Schreier Monaco. Say goodbye. Adios. <laughs>